Now, peeps, I'm again again Galaxy, and welcome back to another episode of the tutorial series. So today, it's been a while actually since I've done with one of these, but today I have an uber-charged electric arrows machine bow thing for you, and um, it's a part of a mini series I did before, and also stopped this for a little while because I had no idea any ideas anymore. Because this machine was for the explosive arrows. Don't know if you remember that, but if you want to check it out, just search up for my channel or just uh, go to my Planet Minecraft account. I will send um, a link to that in the description because there's also a link for this schematic. But I will talk about that later. But now let's let me show you what this is. So as I said, this is an electric arrow machine, but it's uber charged, so it's very strong. Now what this does. Um, it's going to... no, wait, I'm first going to demonstrate you guys. So what you will need is an anvil, a bow, and a prismarine crystals. I will get those in a second. So place your anvil down and call this bow. And, uh, then you have two points. Then highlighter B or U. And then you get this letter, then u botch hearts, like uh, German. But in, I heard that in the Apple computer you can just um, auto tab it somehow, but I don't know how that you, how that's done because I don't have an Apple computer. But once once you did that, you want to um, type in this in this uber charged uber charged electric bow, as you can see right here, uber charged electric bow. I hope I spelled it correctly because I might ha have not. So I'm actually going to keep that there, just in case. And then we're going to do this. And as you can see, nothing happens just yet. If I fire an arrow, nothing will happen either. But when I grab these prismarine crystals, which are pretty hard to get actually, you'll see that this clock will run now. And when I get this bow out as well, it will um, uh, set this clock out as well. And then you will have this. They will have this. There we go. It glitched out a little bit. But they will have this. You will have arrows who shoot lighting. And it can be used anywhere in the world. I tried it out and it even works in the nether. When you place it just in the net regular world, you can still use it in the nether. But don't it even used in the end. I tried it as well. So this is very cool. You only have to look out for creepers so you don't overcharge them. And don't wreck anything because it could be quite damaging uh, to your environment. Like you could set things on fire, and sometimes you can see it's a little buggy, but it most time works. And of course, you can't unload. Uh, you cannot spam these like this, because then you will have this. So it, it will not always work. And if you spam these as well, do spam these like the, this. It will go on a later delay, but any time when I throw these out again, it will not work anymore. So it's actually like these crystals are the, the charge for it. And let me explain this, how you how this works after I grab these spiders, demonstrate it on mobs. Because if I get some spiders out like this, of course you don't. If you hit a mob, then it won't work. But when you do something like this. You can set them on fire, and sometimes, god dang it, uh, sometimes it should be working norm, um, quite normally most time. But now it's a little bit buggy, maybe, maybe because of a little bit of lag. But as you can see, when you do only one hit, you can almost already burn to burn them to death. So it's pretty useful if you're overwhelmed by mobs and you don't know what to do. Just shoot an arrow in between them like this. Like, maybe you have to. Wait, does it actually make a difference? Yeah, this actually makes a difference. Okay, so when you have the first charge, it won't always work, and when you have it overcharged, it will actually almost work. I, I didn't know that. But anyway, it's quite useful for uh, killing mobs. If you're overwhelmed by mobs, just shoot an arrow in between them, and then what they possibly die. So let me show you how this works. Uh, just get rid of this for a second and it will go in here. 
So the commands for this are pretty simple. They're basic commands. This one will fill uh, bl the block on top of uh, this command block with air, and this one will, a block underneath it, fill with red redstone. So it's a constantly running clock, as you can see, I can't break it, because it's just so fast that you can't even see it happening. And now that clock, it's a little bit different, but I changed it already, uh, because this one actually gives less lag. And of course there's also one with falling sand, but I won't be demonstrating that right now. So this clock triggers this command block, which tests for at any player in the world who has a prismarine crystals in his inventory. So as you can see now it won't um, activate. But when I get this in my inventory, this comparator will trigger th um, this repeater, which will trigger this comparator. And this is actually a Minecraft clock. Of course, if I will turn this up, it won't work. But when I do this, this redstone clock, normally it will be with a redstone torch or or add some block behind it, but uh, a, just a signal into that, it will work. So what it uh, tests for then, it will test for if the player, wait, let actually change that to at all, it will t test for if a player has an uh, item, or yeah, an item in his inventory in the first item slot with the name Ubercharged Electric Bow. So in this slot, if there's an um, item with an ubercharged electric bow name then it will actually uh, trigger this command so as you can see if I would grab this bow out and I put it over here it won't work but when I put it over here instead it will power another one of these clocks so what it then does after this clock has been triggered it will test for an, ar an arrow in ground anywhere in the world so if that finds it it will send out two delays one over to this command block, which will execute edit to that arrow in the world, it will summon a lightning bolt. So, it's basically very simple. When this, when this finds an arrow, this will go on, and it will uh, send out lightning bolts to there. But, and you can make this uh, more accurate by just placing one delay down, like this, and it will, will work more often. I actually should have done that earlier. But anyway, the last command right here will kill it it will kill an arrow anywhere in the world. So this is must be a little bit slower or the arrow will be already killed before the lightning bolt is summoned. But that's pretty much it for the these commands. It's very simple actually and most I just found on the internet and placed them back into one big machine. I don't think that anyone has ever done this before. Well, this is your first time if you see this for the first time on YouTube. And that's also pretty much it for this episode of the tutorial series, guys. I have still one machine right there that I will show in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. And if you missed the last episode, then go check out the new outro I've made on the, on the end of this video. So you can maybe check that out and also the last video. But that's pretty much what I want to say. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that right now. And if you want to s to help me grow this channel, make sure to slap that like button over your beak. And yeah, that's pretty much what I want to say. I'm the Gunnikin Galaxy, and I'll see you guys all later. Have a good game, and bye bye.